Hi, I'm Bill Snodgrass, and in this tutorial, we're gonna look at uh, the filter, the uh, plugin from per Perfectly Clear from Authentic Imaging. And we're gonna, particularly gonna look at some of the exposure and noise settings that, that are available. Um, the image I have, this was, we were uh, in Photography Club working on background lighting and backdrop lighting and backlighting and all those kinds of things. And I snapped a picture as I was going from one group of students to the other. And uh, the, the model said, yeah, you can use that one, just, you know, it's okay. Um, I, want, I picked it because the, it, it, it has a lot of nice features in the posing, uh, and, and it seems like it could really benefit from a little bit of work correcting the exposure. And that's one of the things that the plugin will do really well. So I'm gonna launch the plugin. Um, it's gonna set some default settings, and we're gonna try to get around those. Um, and so it has come up and it has picked the auto intelligent auto and the you know auto exposure. I want to go down and turn off a couple of the features so that we are um, and I just turn them off in the so we can isolate what we're trying to do. So there is the beginning picture. You also have the slider that will show you before and after. I'm going to do the pre. I'm going into pre processing and I will open that menu. Image ambulance is, uh, a, it's the exposure value. It's similar to the exposure value in other programs, but I feel like they have put behind it a little bit of software to make it a little smarter than some of the default exposure things. And without doing anything else to the picture, just by increasing the, the, ambul the ambulance exposure value, um, I can bring a lot of that picture into a much better place uh, as far as as exposure so we had before and after and the other thing in a low light setting is there's some artifacting and um, this is the person who's going to use this is probably going to be the student we also have our social media committee we have our athletic department most of the time, they cannot handle, in fact, I cannot think of any time they can handle raw files. And so I work a lot with the JPEGs because that's what the people who want uh, are, are looking for. And also, uh, sometimes I will receive JPEGs and that will be what they have sent me. So this is a JPEG to start with um, and, and it is going to, to, we were able to get in and clean up some of those things. Um, so I'm going to turn uh, color on and look in here. We have color restore, vibrancy, tint. Sometimes there is a tint that is introduced from uh, sources that you don't want. I don't think that's the case in this one, but the tint correction button is a quick way to sort of fix some of the tint problems. And then uh, we'll go into details. We have sharpening which we can turn sharpening off. I want to look at noise. There are different noise settings and the noise would be those artifacts that we don't want in the picture that are introduced. Sometimes in low light JPEGs, you'll see a lot of that artifacting. And so um, we have different settings, portrait. I'm going to set it on portrait and I'm going to boost it up a little bit. Now the differences are very subtle in the noise reduction. And it varies from picture to picture how much success it is going to have with noise reduction. Um, and then it uh, also has a detail preservation. So that is, oh, they're, they're, you're, you're sort of creating a tension between noise reduction and detail preservation, um, trying to get the, the best look that you can get. Um, once that has been cleaned up as much as you're you know as, as you want it to be cleaned up then then you're ready to go back in and throw a couple of the other pieces on just turning the skin smoothing on uh, and I'm just using some of the default settings here uh, drastically will clean the picture up and make it look um, much much better than the original now if you start with a, a picture that is a little bit troublesome to begin with um, you, you can't expect to end up with a perfect picture to end with, but you can improve a troubled picture drastically. 
and then uh, according to your taste you can uh, adjust these things to make it fit the way that you want it to, to fit. The, the results are, for me in, in, in most cases have been very impressive. Uh, I, I have been able to, to save pictures that were really, really poorly exposed to start with and end up with a picture that was very, very respectable, uh, particularly for, for most of the purposes. Uh, if you're going to put it into a newspaper, if you're going to downsize it for social media or whatever you're, you're, you, know, you may end up doing with it, um, this this filter has been very powerful in being able to to do that. So that is that is a, a quick look. Um, with as with most of these things, the best way to to work through and learn is to uh, to go through and try the different features of the tool. But don't overlook this image exposure. It's not something for that you need for every picture. But it is going to be uh, the image ambulance is going to work in pictures where there has been something wrong in the exposure to start with. When you're done with the plugin, you hit the apply. It's going to apply it to the layer that you were working on, and then you have you know your before and your after. So th that is it um, for for this tutorial. Uh, hopefully, this will at least give you a knowledge that there is a, a, a piece inside the plugin that you can work with. And uh, while it is not going to take a bad picture and make it perfect, it's going to take a bad picture and make it respectable. Um, that's it. Hopefully this is helpful. Please click the like button. Subscribe to the channel. Sign up for notifications. I do, besides the tutorials, I do uh, lots of other types of videos, particularly in the motivational inspirational line. So if that's something that you might like, check those out as well. Uh, thanks for watching. I will see you in the next one.